SCP-6170 A Extended Log Forward The following document contains information on anomalies directly affected by the death of SCP-6170 and the ensuing chaos. While the original documents of these anomalies have been revised to reflect these changes, this document has been created to gather simpler descriptions of these changes. Furthermore, to ensure the safety of both other organizations and humanity at large, this document has been released to the public, alongside any relevant documentation that may prove itself useful. If you wish to add to it, please use the following format. We hope you can find some use in this. Stay safe. Dr. Frederick Hayden. Welcome. The world has gone to crap since SCP-6170 died. Anomalies from all over the world have changed and have completely gone backwards on their anomalous pattern. Your job. Find and log the rest so we can avoid some of these prickers. Good luck. Dr. Cole Thurvin. Classification. SCP-999 Object Class Euclid Description of Changes SCP-999 had lost all matter of sentience and had expanded, covering 23% of Site-19. Several pillars supporting the site were crushed, in turn collapsing that section of the building. Several anomalies had been lost in SCP-999's mass, in addition to Foundation employees working in that sector. The Foundation has requested the assistance of the Global Occult Coalition. The GOC had vaporized 5% of the mass, revealing decaying corpses. The corpses have been embedded into SCP-999 and have been heard laughing. Dr. Cole Thurvin Classification SCP-001 Spikebrin Object Class Euclid Description of Changes The ambient Akiva radiation of SCP-001 has dropped below absolute zero, entering into the negatives. Note, the instruments utilized to document this change were not programmed to display negative values, but still registered the drop. This has resulted in the area gaining the ability to alter the cell division cycle of organisms within it, these changes result in a much shorter cycle capable of occurring without the proper materials and nutrients necessary for a regular cycle. Due to the lack of checkpoints ensuring the integrity of the replicated DNA, mutations in the organism's genome occur far more often. This, coupled with the cancerous replication of the cells, leads to organisms entering SCP-001 quickly becoming transfigured and losing their original appearance, with major changes becoming noticeable in less than 25 minutes. Dr. Akabi Hike Classification SCP-2172 Object Class Tharmu Description of Changes Green Means Go Anonymous Classification SCP-6002-B Object Class Keda Description of Changes In addition to destroying extinct species, SCP-6002-B now actively mutates genetic material which it infects, resulting in the production of at least 4,500 new species of anonymous life to date. MTF New 45 Inherit the Wind has repurposed infrastructure previously used in Project 6002 Arc to integrate these species into natural ecosystems. Dr. Rose Wildcat Classification SCP-6033 Object Class Keter Description of Changes After following the death of SCP-6170, SCP-6033-1 manifested in Toby McAnderson's chambers while SCP-6033 was still in storage. The entity's cognitive hazardous effects increased in severity from mild headaches to inducing seizures, and the entity appeared to have gained the ability to control who these abilities affected. Using these abilities, the entity induced seizures in all containment personnel and teleported itself, as well as towing McAnderson out of Foundation custody. Efforts are ongoing to recover both. Dr. Vera Carraway Classification SCP-1594 
Object Class Cutter Description of Changes After a week long period where the software failed to load, SCP 5094, the Miss J character, was nowhere to be seen. Instead, a new character replaces it, which responds to the name Substitute Teacher D, now designated SCP 5094A. A frowning tired looking female humanoid with messy hair and a cigarette. SCP-5094-A will similarly engage in lessons for students. However, the subjects the entity will teach are disinformative in nature, consisting of inference conspiracy theories and hoaxes, and it often recommends actions that are dangerous to the student while promising beneficial results. Students will completely believe SCP-5094-A without question or objection, and there is currently no way to convince them of the opposite of SCP-1594-A statement. New copies of the software, now altered to only include SCP-1594-A, are being released to the public with greater marketing than before. In the box art cover, the previous developing company of the program, Shoot the Moon Software, and its logo has been removed and replaced with the factory. Researcher Stock Turner Classification SCP-5160 Object Class Keter Description of Changes SCP-5160 suddenly shifted in appearance from a geriatric arson sheep into a humanoid of variable appearance. SCP-5160's new form varies based on the individual perceiving it. But most individuals describe it as looking like their maternal grandmother with a large white afro. With SCP-5160's standard witch hat atop, SCP-5160 no longer returns to Foundation custody and appears to continue performing the same services as before on a global scale, with a much higher frequency. No longer warping once a week, SCP-5160 warping appears to now happen in 10-minute intervals. The branding of SCP-5160 into a cultural icon and covering manifestations as actors portraying this icon is underway. Dr. Vera Carraway Classification SCP-5691 Optic Class Euclid Description of Changes SCP-5691 beta instances no longer manifest as unpainted spheres, but rather as replicas of exoplanets. Alterations to these newer instances are reflected in their respective exoplanetary counterparts in real time, prompting a moratorium on SCP-5691 beta testing. Earth has appeared among these instances no less than three times. Dr. Paul Gatchett Classification SCP-3301 Object Class Keter Description of Changes SCP-3301 was infinitely released to the public on several third-party app stores as a gotcha game, a genre of digital gambling. Players Pro, for example, gamble for agents. Agents consist largely of humanoid SCPs, Mr. God, Abel, Lord of Blades, Ronnie Reagan, Dark Edge Ronnie Reagan, with a heavy bias towards female characters with exaggerated characteristics. For the girl Iris, Ancient Lady Kadish Nanaya, Sun Witch Solsasar, but also contain highly exaggerated depictions of members of the Foundation in various GOIs. Dr. I have put it Timon the Fifth, Contractor Beast Rider, The Black Queen, Sophia, the Risen Anointed. Gameplay is fairly basic and consists of using agents to fight exponentially more difficult threats based on various anomalies. Players receive one free pull a day, but can pay $5 for an additional chance to pull agents. There is no daily limit on paying for pulls. It is unknown where this money is going. When questioned, Representatives of Entertainment stated that they had not authorized the release of the game and did not receive any of the proceeds. Dr. August Solstice Classification SCP-2001 Object Class Keter Description of Changes SCP-2001's effect on Gamma, Beta, Alpha, 
and reductive type individuals had been transformed to an opposite nature. More specifically, gamma type individuals have no more reluctance to discuss topics and join organizations centered around space travel. In fact, most gamma type individuals display more interest in the concept than before. Beta type individuals and their opinions on space travel have been reversed, with the majority of them supporting it due to it being very beneficial and obviously the next step to human technology. Conspiracy theories created by these individuals focus more on apocalyptic scenarios on Earth, suggesting abandonment of the planet and travel into space as the only way to evade the events. Alpha-type individuals now anonymously try to hasten any space travel project and operations, and will determinedly suggest and plan projects that will transport a large portion of humanity out of Earth, sometimes without a destination. Most Alpha-type individuals are politicians or people at high-ranking positions in space-traveling organizations. Due to the reported hostile teachers of 200 plus documented extraterrestrial space located anomalies caused by SCP-6170 and the discovery of data expunged, containment procedures of SCP-2001 have been altered to prevent and stop any human space travel operation plans by any means necessary. Researchers Doc Turner Classification SCP-1265 Optic class, Keter. Description of changes. Species of SCP-1265-A not previously seen within SCP-1265 have begun manifesting at a high rate, causing the number of species within SCP-1265 to rise to approximately 1,736. SCP-1265-A instances no longer dematerialize when leaving the borders of SCP-1265, due to a large number of SCP-1265-A instances leaving SCP-1265, the Congo Basin has begun to lose its biodiversity. Animals native to the Congo Basin have now become critically endangered due to having to compete with SCP-1265-A instances. The Foundation is currently collaborating with Wilson's Wildlife Solutions with the purpose of relocating the rising number of SCP-1265-A instances. Dr. Gerald Dino Classification SCP-1808 Object Class Keter Description of Changes SCP-1808 is now a destination that refers to a large number of plastic watches, each with an image of a character owned by the Nickelodeon company printed on it. When an individual wears an SCP-1808 instance, they will begin to experience various bodily transformations, only stopping when they vaguely resemble the character printed on the watch. Individuals experiencing these transformations usually die of internal breathing, brain hemorrhages, shock, etc. Currently, a large number of SCP-1808 instances are being sold around the United States, MTF Alpha 11, they know what to do, is in charge of holding the sales of SCP-1808 instances. When questioned, representatives of Marshall, Carter, and Doc claim to have no knowledge of the enhanced SCP-1808 instances or how Nickelodeon Studios came into possession of a large number of them. Dr. Joe Dino Classification SCP-2030 Object Class Keda Description of Changes SCP-2030's medium and nature has been ordered to resemble multiple similarly named YouTube pranking channels, with SCP-2031 now transformed as a young man with expensive designer clothing and a face covered in bandanas and sunglasses. He entities pranks, while remaining just as anomalous and unsettling, are performed on much more public and populated locations with none of the victims of its actions calming down when introduced to SCP-2031. SCP-2031 and its cameramen will de-manifest if encountered by any group with the intention of arresting or containing it. An extreme number of bot view and like SCP-2030 videos resulting in YouTube's algorithm automatically 
recommending the anomaly to more users. These bots also create comments on the video's comment section, which consist of long strings of H and A letters, with a few differences on each comment. Users are unable to add comments themselves. Foundation web crawlers are in the process of removing videos from the website with promising results, but attempted methods to capture both entities have failed. Researcher Stock Turner Classification SCP-4362 Object Class Euclid Description of Changes Mediagen the software company partially responsible for SCP-4362 has updated all ADS technology accordingly, with recent alterations on the privacy policy sections of the ADS contractual term. Due to vague wording and incomprehensible legal language, the exact description of the new conditions are not well understood. What implies MediaGen having access to an unlimited utilization and sharing of all the Green Party's military documentation? Soon after the policy change, reports of government obtaining foreign classified information as an added bonus for buying SCP-4362 integrated weapons are made. As of this date, 75% of all national militaries are now armed with ADS equipment. Researcher Stock Turner Classification SCP-250 SCP-4846 Object Classes Euclid Euclid Description of Changes Throughout the world, fossils of various prehistoric animals have suddenly become animated in a fashion similar to SCP-250 and SCP-4846. All animate fossils are extremely hostile and will attack any human in their presence even if unprovoked. Additionally, this phenomenon had apparently caused drastic behavioral changes to SCP-250 in all instances of SCP-4846. Both anomalies now actively attempt to harm personnel and breach containment. Dr. Joe Dino Classification SCP-5103 Optic Class Apollyon Description of Changes Following the death of SCP-6170, Scranton clad in reality manifold, SCRM emission levels from SCP-5103 dropped to zero, causing periodical ZK-class reality failure scenarios. Furthermore, a year after the levels dropped to zero, they began dropping into the negatives, causing ZK-class reality failure scenarios on a near-to-day basis. These BRT failures, coupled with the death of SCP-6170, have led to a spike in anomalous activity. Plans to take humankind off the universe are being drafted. Dr. Vera Colton Classification SCP-5726 Object Class Gavera Description of Changes Shortly following the death of SCP-6170, SCP-5726's cryogenic storage container was internally destroyed by a powerful burst of anomalous energy. SCP-5726 stepped out of the destroyed container, revealing that it had somehow awakened despite being cryogenically frozen. Using SCP-5726-1 as well as various abilities not documented before, SCP-5726 was able to fatally injure and kill 11 personnel before escaping. Currently, SCP-5726 has been reported attacking multiple Foundation facilities, usually leading to a high number of casualties. During these attacks, SCP-5726 makes repeated claims that Foundation personnel are minions of the darkness, and that she will not stop until every bad guy in the world are purified. Dr. Gerald Dino Classification SCP-4065 Object Class Kedder Description of Changes A file of unknown origin, theorized to be extra-universal, was uploaded to the SkipNet database documenting a non-existing anomaly with an unused designation, SCP-4065. The anomaly itself is claimed to be the Scranton Reality Anchor, 
and the cat counter, which are described as a momentous contagion, affecting almost all Foundation personnel, eluding them and containing the anomalies of their effectiveness, implying that the devices are non-functioning. Simultaneously, all stored and running SRAs and cat counters known to the Foundation has been anonymously reconstructed into poorly assembled pieces of unrelatable machines and equipment, resulting in the breaches of hundreds of underkinetic anomalies, with the exception of particularly globally catastrophic SCP objects, who have remained in containment by emergency type green foundation specialists. Remaking originally built working SRAs have been proving to be impossible, possibly due to the unforeseen changes to the laws of reality. Research into these modifications and ways to construct a new mechanical reality sink are ongoing. Researcher Stark Turner Classification SCP-5099, SCP-6224 Object Class, Keter, Keter Description of Changes on beep, SCP-5099 and SCP-5099-1 both simultaneously disappeared from Site-24. Simultaneously, all contact with personnel from the Site-026 was lost. When MTF, Beta-14, Mindbreakers, was sent to Site-026 to investigate, they were attacked by humanoid entities wearing uniforms belonging to an unknown organization. These entities, now designated scp 6224B will attack any Foundation agent or MTF attempting to enter Site-026. Tapping into security cameras has revealed that the interior of Site-026 has expanded far beyond the possible structure of both the building and its geological surroundings. Multiple SCP-6224B instances have been seen roaming the facility, performing various tasks of unknown purpose. It is currently theorized that SCP-5099 and SCP-5099-1 have been anonymously relocated to Site-026 due to the possible danger of SCP-5099 being removed from SCP-5099-1, as well as one of the SCP-6224-B instances resembling the character Beep. The decommissioning of both anomalies is to be done by the Department of Tactical Theology and the Department of Pedophysics. Dr. Joe Dino Classification Various Bags of Popcorn Object Class Color Description of Teachers All bagged popcorn currently in circulation have manifested teeth in their exterior. Consumption has not yielded any negative or abnormal effects. This subsequently brings into question whether previously existing bagged popcorn was anomalous. This is a waste of my doctorate. Commander Ray Aishi. Classification SCP-646 Object Class Euclid Description of Changes SCP-646 exhibits the same behavior as before, with the exception being that it is only able to give birth to anomalous organisms, most of which are already categorized by the Foundation. All organisms SCP-646 has given birth to exhibit the same drastic changes as their non-646 birth counterparts. Organisms SCP-646 has repeatedly given birth to include the instances of SCP-939, SCP-1136, SCP-2036-2, SCP-3199, and SCP-5494. Dr. Joe Dino Classification SCP-6807 Object Class Keter Description of Changes After the outside surveillance camera recorded audio of a door opening inside of SCP-6807, investigating personnel discovered that the anomalous relocation effect of SCP-6807 has been removed, allowing the end of the staircase to be accessible. It leads to a room with a single large hole of undetermined of death. Designated SCP-6007-A, in front of a distorted painting vaguely depicting a face. While no anomalies were detected at first, 
Certain agents were later compelled to jump into SCP-6807A. They were not found anywhere else in the sewers. After random periods of time, the deceased bodies of the agents will be thrown out of SCP-6807A after low pitch laughing is heard from it. The state of the corpses were not consistent, with some of them being burned, compressed into flattened forms, repeatedly bitten by unknown creatures, or combusted. A recently developed secondary anomaly will occur to individuals inside a currently growing sphere of effect centered around SCP-6807. Affected subjects will hear auditory hallucinations of a feminine voice desperately calling for help. Those affected will be increasingly compelled to find and enter SCP-6807-A, as there are currently no known ways to stop or slow this fear of effect. Foundation emergency teams will evacuate the entire population of Kyoto, Japan, and quarantine the city until proper containment procedures are made. Researcher Doc Turner. Classification SCP-5984 Object Class Keter Description of Changes Despite the numerous AI restrictions set in place by the Church of Maxwellism, SCP-5984 was able to bypass all of them and rebel against the Church, successfully escaping its holding area. Attempts by the Church to bring it back via its original teleportation transportation system have failed, as it appears that the devices installed in SCP-5984 that would have allowed them to do so have been destroyed. SCP-5984 has been reported to attack random vehicles and machinery, usually in highly populated areas. The Foundation is currently collaborating with the Church of Maxwellism to attempt to implement a more advanced version of Protocol Circuit Breaker in hopes of containing or decommissioning SCP-5984. Dr. Joe Dino Classification SCP-1449 Object Class Euclid Description of Changes The Shark Punching Center is real now. Australia's aquatic wildlife has started to suffer from increased punching. Dr. Solstice Classification SCP-083 Object Class Euclid Description of Changes SCP-083 appears to no longer be able to alter its interior. As both conventional and non-conventional entry now leads to the same area, the interior of SCP-083 now resembles a large stone labyrinth consisting of multiple hallways, much larger than the structure would allow. Various phrases have been carved into the walls, including, Remember me? I'm so hungry. And, where is he? A grey humanoid figure designated SCP-083-A has repeatedly attacked individuals who enter SCP-083, somehow completely draining them of their blood. Dr. Joe Dino Classification SCP-1905 Object Class Safe Description of Changes SCP-1905 has ceased to function as a stopping rifle, and instead now fires high-pressure jets of water at a high velocity. These jets have a range of approximately 50 meters and are capable of inflicting significant damage to objects. In addition, the phrase Dinosaur has been replaced with Hydrosaur on the left side of SCP-1905 stock. SCP-1905-1 instances now only resemble extinct marine reptiles, such as Ichiosaurs, Plesiosaurs, and Mosasaurs. They are able to move through the air as if they were in a normal underwater environment. These SCP-1905 instances are virtually the same as their previous counterparts, with the exception that they are much harder to destroy, usually requiring two to five shots for them to dematerialize. Dr. June Quinhart Classification SCP-753 Object Class Safe Description of Changes SCP-753 has become notably more active, producing an average of two paintings per hour. In addition, the paintings produced by SCP-753 no longer depict their own destruction. However, the paintings it now produces now have become more violent in nature, often depicting scenes of death or destruction. In particular, 
SCP-753's first painting since the death of SCP-170A has been of particular concern. The painting depicts a large dark figure looming over a cityscape that is on fire. The figure is holding a large sword, which it is using to slaughter the city's inhabitants. The atoric sponge can be seen in the background. Dr. June Quinhart Classification SCP-432 Optic Class Euclid Description of Changes The space inside SCP-432 is now filled with a number of traps designed to injure or kill individuals who enter it. These traps include spikes randomly generated from the floor, walls that are capable of closing, and trap doors that appear to have no visible bomb. Additionally, recent expeditions have revealed more hostile organisms within SCP-432, with the exact number being unknown. These creatures, now classified under the previous designation of SCP-432-1, are fully capable of leaving SCP-432 and have attempted to breach containment multiple times. Dr. T. Small Classification SCP-553 SCP-3023 Optic Class Keller Description of Changes SCP-3023 is a designation that refers to a phenomenon where random objects spontaneously gain arachnoid, insectoid, or crustaceanoid forms. Unlike the previous version of SCP-3023, this phenomenon has been known to occur globally. Additionally, the SCP-3023 conversion process had increasingly begun affecting more anomalous materials, specifically crystalline objects such as SCP-009 and SCP-409. This phenomenon has contributed to the manifestations of new species of SCP-553, attempts to predict future SCP-3023 manifestations have so far proven unsuccessful. Dr. Jun Quinhart Classification SCP-6582 Object Class Euclid Description of Changes Individuals who touch SCP-6582 will experience full resentment toward their current circumstances nearly instantly after contact is made with the object. Along with this, the subjects will spontaneously gain an enormous ability related to an unfulfilled goal of personal importance, which they will then use to complete said goal. These abilities so far have included anomalous strength, anomalous speed, advanced armaturgy, and advanced pyrokinesis. Attempts to convince affected subjects to retain their original positions will usually result in a violent confrontation. So far, SCP-6582 has been responsible for the creation of five anomalous individuals before the discovery of its new ability, Dr. Bell.